of what gets set up here. So we could look up how many satellites there are up in space right now. It's going to be way over 3,000. Well, half of them are probably going to be robots. Well, and there's a bunch of them that aren't operational anymore, right? Because it's not like we bring the satellites back down. There's actually kind of a big issue of space trash. Well, I feel um, like space trash isn't that big. Like, why is space trash an issue? Because it stays close to the Earth. If we, like, could kick it out and, like, make it disappear, that'd be fine. But, we're at, like, if you can imagine... So, have you seen, like, the pictures of the trash in the ocean? Stuff like that? We are essentially doing that with our atmosphere around oh, the Earth. It is yeah. getting, like, garbage. Oh, it's doing it. Yeah, okay. There's just garbage I floating see, around our I planet. See how that would be a problem. So, not awesome. All right, but. But, like, what is the effect? Well, it well first off, if you're trying to fly anywhere, like, in space, you got to make sure you don't hit crap on the way out. So, that's, I mean, this is off topic. We should refocus. So, of these satellites that are up there, what would determine how much of the Earth it can see? So, if we have a satellite in a location, and you guys have this uh, resource page that we're going to look at here in a minute. Of this there you go. Perfect, perfect sphere, segue. Not really a circle, so, that makes it kind of so, this line is the equator. So, we're looking at the Earth from the pole, right? These are longitude and latitude lines. So this is our equator. So we're just wondering like what like half of the Earth is. So we're using the equator as our circle, okay. right? So that we can actually reference something. So if we have a satellite up in up in the air, and I was just gonna like let you guys chat, so right, sure. Yeah. Oh. So if we take the line tool right here, and then we take, well, the, I, I'm just gonna guess that the camera is in this. Tap it a couple times. I guess the camera's in the center, but if we make a tangent line here, and we make another tangent line here, that's not bad at all. That actually, that's bad at tangent line. This, and then we know, because fun stuff, that this has to be congruent to that. How do, how do we know that? Because outside of the circle is always going to be the same distance from the middle of the circle. And so it's also the same distance from this point, the tangent line point. Though. Did we prove this already? Did we all agree on this? I agree on this. <laughs> I'm fairly certain we proved this yesterday. Could you draw, click the line tool again. The line tool? Draw a couple radii. Radii? You can guess what radii I want us to look at. Oh, come on. Draw the radius that's perpendicular to the tangent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's more useful. That, that is, oh, wait, it's kind of nice. It makes, it makes the right angle. But now, it's not, it's not quite accurate here. because. So what do we know about the radii? They're equal. Those are equal. Tight logic. That's how it works. It's tight logic. So we know the radii are equal to each other. What else do we know about the radii? Okay, two of them would make the diameter. What else do we know? We've already said it, but we haven't drawn it up there. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and draw a couple right angles. I'm, I'm going to use blue for that. Yeah. Well, now they have to, right, because we've already taken up 180 degrees. We know a quadrilateral has 360 degrees. So those opposite angles have to be supplementary. Now, if we had this angle or this angle, we'd be able to solve this really. We have this angle. These two are right angles, so that means, oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm silly. We may have made a bit of a jump. Yeah, I'm silly, never mind. So wait, why can't we? Why'd you end up erasing that? Because just because these two right angles doesn't mean, like, can't we make a Like, if this was a square. Can't we make a like an angle, like a, a line from there to there? No, from there to there. So then we get that angle, and then we just do that, and it times to make it. And that's a bisector, so these are... No, wait, how do we... I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think that's the fault of the bisector. That one, I think, is the fault. Is there a way that we could prove that, that one? Is? This is a pipe. We know that. Are you wanting me to get rid of a line? What are you trying to do? We know this is a pipe. But how do we know that's the right angle? Because of tight logic. 
but do we know that this is a kite? Yeah, yeah. Kite hat just to have is like because it has these two angles and it has these two sides. No, this has to have the sides of the sides. Well, but these sides were proven with all of this. I should get rid of those. This that's what we're trying to prove here, or maybe not, but we don't actually know yet. So wait, if we don't know that it's a kite. But we do know it's a kite because we have these two angles and these two sides. Hold on. I don't think there's. I, I need to catch up with you because I think you know something I don't know. So, ah, crap. There's, there's no other shape that that would work for, right? If we had those two angles and those two sides. Well, so that's what I'm asking, right? Yeah. So we know the perpendicularness, we know the radii are equal to each other. So that's side, so side, side angle. Side side angle, that's a bad word. That's no, it's, it's like it's like backwards <laughs> to get confused. No, but like think about this. So we have here, wait, can you open a new tab? Because this is gonna kinda Do you want me to just like clone this? Or? Yeah, clone this and then because I want to show something off to the side of it, but I don't want to draw it all these weird things. Do you want me to get rid of any of what oh, we've done? Yeah, can you just make a giant white like blank over here? Gladly. Because I don't think there's any numbers that we need. Cost three thousand dollars. Okay. Hey. So say we have right here. You're on mine too. Yeah, I know. Okay, just making sure. Say we have right here these two points, and we know. Okay, and we we know that they are. Sorry, just a line for a second. If you want. We know that they are congruent for a reason. Because we, we made them congruent, right? We can just make yeah. it so. And we know that this is this is gonna look kind of weird. We know that there's a right angle here to some line and a right angle here to some line. Those two lines have to converge at one point specifically. And if this were moved out, it would still be converging at a place where it'd be a nice. So as long as this is not a straight line right here. Then well, these two lines will have to converge somewhere. If it was a straight line, then they probably wouldn't be 90 degrees in this. Okay, I'm with you. If we know all of that, then we have to know that they converge here. Right? Okay. And two, and two lines from the same point, from two points that are across, are equidistant from the center axis. Wait, say what you said again. Two, two lines. lines. Are you talking about these? Yes, two lines from the same point to the edge of the circle, and they convert. I think we learned that last year. Yeah, okay, yeah. but instead of saying, I think we learned that last year, can you explain why? Not I just. I remember. I think we learned it like an isosceles triangle. Yeah. I, I do think an isosceles triangle is good. Do you want to come up to the board for a second? We can tell Connor to sit down. Did I make it taller? I'm sorry. No, I moved it. But just because I don't know, we don't know that this is a kite unless we know that those are equal. And I'm asking, how do we know that aside from Mr. Hall told you it's true? So if this is the same angle, right, coming from two different points. Sorry, start that sentence again. Because it's the same angle, right? Those right angles? These, yeah, okay. the same angle. Yes. Coming from two different points. So they're going towards each other at the same angle. So they would go the same distance because it's the same angle. That makes and sense. The I, same I follow your logic. Like, yeah. <laughs> I follow. Because <laughs> if I draw two lines, Oh, you have the you have this to work yeah, with. I do. Just click the back row a couple times. I'm trying to like highlight things. No. Uh, oh, here I got you. We're on back <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so you're trying to? I don't think you can. It's a quadrilateral. It's a shift height and exactly one pair of opposite angles. You don't have a shift. Oh, you're just gonna look up. No, it's in a book that you can like 
people. Betty's uh, still looking it up. <laughs> it's just not on the internet. So technically, it is internet. Why did you So it's grouped. High opposite angle theorem. That's a thing. That's a thing. But aren't you again saying it is a kite? Yes, because all opposite angles are congruent. That is one of the ways. So these opposite angles are congruent. So you're saying that. So that makes it a kite. Does it? What if we? What is the definition of a kite? What is the definition of a kite? Wait, so hold on. Do we know that this is a bisector of this? Of what? Angle or line? Line. Not line. This uh, line is a bisector. Are we saying that that is a bisector of this angle and this angle? No, this angle and this line. Okay. Okay. So, are you saying, like, we don't have it extended all the way out here, it's actually only here? What are we talking about? Or there. And it's a bisector of. Yeah, we can say that. Sure. What does that give us? It gives us that oh, those two also, triangles are congruent, also, right? It also gives us this. Wait, what is? What did you just mark? I'm confused. Oh, okay. oh no, that was probably not the best. Oh, if you make it a, a radius, yeah, okay. But I don't think that's actually. I think we can do this without doing that because that's just. So if this bisects, then we have one more side, and that side angle side congruence. That's what we do like this. Which tells us these two triangles. Oh. Which side, side, side? Yeah, and on side, side, side. Which tells us these two triangles are congruent. I'm going to give them like a little green triangle. Why don't we just... No, oops. <laughs> you picked the four. Okay, what were you doing? I'm just gonna like make the I'll make it a little congruent. Okay. So that tells us that this what does that? Does that tell us anything? anything? Wait, we know these two angles have to be congruent because these two angles are congruent. Uh, yeah. Which yeah. tells us that's an isosceles triangle. Which tells us these two sides are congruent to each other. And then we done did it. Well, actually, we didn't really do it. We, we proved that much. We proved that it's a kite. Yeah. So, <laughs> do we all agree that it is proven that the tangent lines from the same point outside a circle will be congruent to each other? Yeah. Okay. So now that we agree on that... We basically and... wrote a proof. But without, like, the formal... So, by without the formal crap, I mean, you mean... Are you just trying to get rid of all of that? Yeah. Well, you don't really have to. We, we need... Jake, we haven't finished the problem. So, by, by without the formal crap, you mean... Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, it wants you to write a proof, but you... I forget what question it wants you to write a proof, but you essentially just did it. You, yeah. like. That is the proof. We wrote a verbal proof. Okay, but now we, now we need to figure out how much of a circle that is. I was about to say, so back to the question we were originally asking. That really has how no far away the satellite is, though. Wait, so explain that to me. Because, like, the further the satellite is out, the smaller the angle is going to be. So, wait, you guys mean, or it might be helpful if, where did that tab go? Aha. So something like this might be more useful to play with. Does it tell us the angle matrix? Well, it observe what it shows. So, I'm like, so actually, I should reset this. So hold on, because yeah. I, I broke it already because I was playing with it. So when it starts, it is set up. Oh, no, I, it was broken from the get-go. Okay, Mr. Hudson, Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah, go back. Middle click? What's yeah, a middle wheel? With the screw wheel on the mouse. Is your screw wheel clickable? Like if you click down. Yeah, like that. Wow. What? Yeah. Mind blown. 
Okay. That's cool. Learn something new every day. So if we had satellites like A, B, and C, which one's going to get the most coverage? C. Why? Because its point is going to be further out to you. Right? Because it's a tangent line. So the further out this is, the further out you're going to be. I thought that was blocked on that line. Right. The further out this is, the further out this has to be to be like a tangent line. Because uh, you're trying to make D 90. Yeah. Wait, actually, wait, we can just change that here, can we? Uh, I don't know if it lets uh, us just tell you. Because there's too many movable pieces to just force it to be 90. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So well, you're saying the further away we go, the more of the circle we see. And you can never get more, you can never get 180. Uh, you can never get half of the circle in there. Because half of the circle would be too far away. Right. Ah, I was about to ask, so wait, can we get half the equator of coverage if I scoot this like infinitely far away? Yeah. Well, the fear, like no, but also... Because then, yeah, these tangent lines basically, would be the... If you go far enough out that parallel lines converge, then sure. Well, in, in our Cartesian plane of understanding of geometry, Parallel lines never converge. There are branches of math where you will talk about parallel lines being able to converge, but that's not. It's it's like when we talk about imaginary numbers, right? It's like it is that whole like, well, okay, these rules belong to our Cartesian plane and our like Euclidean geometry, but if we go into other like non-normal, like not that useful, depending on what you're doing. Rules can get broken, right? Like, rules get broken. But, yeah, we can't, because then these would be the uh, diameter. Sorry, I keep wanting to say the equator. And if they're both the diameter and this is 180 degrees, these would be parallel lines. So it couldn't get to one satellite. So this is why companies have to launch multiple satellites to be able to get the coverage they want. This is so funny. I was thinking about this last night. Not with, like, why were you thinking about page. this? It was just with donuts. With donuts? Well, I'm in the shower. I'm just like, yeah. So, no, so there are actually really strict rules on Reddit shower thoughts. Oh, really? Yeah, like it has to, it can't be a question. It can't be like, it literally just has to be those things where you're like, huh. Like you, it's just like a weird, like one-off, like thought or realization or whatever. It, it is pretty interesting. Um, uh, but 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 we already talked about all of this through you saying. Um, ah, here is what we didn't know. So, if angle A is ninety degrees, right? So this satellite A. So we drop this back to A, and we bring these back to where they would be. Oh, no, we didn't prove that yet. Wait, is A 90 degrees? No, you can't. You have to get closer to the Earth for it to be. You have to wait until B is at, is at 90 degrees and E is at 90 degrees. Wait, A is only 90 degrees if all of them are 90 degrees. A is only 90 degrees if it makes a square, and it doesn't really make a square. So, yeah. Have to do that. That's as close as I can get it. Yeah, so A is not quite 90. Um, I think I need a minute to, like, re-get my brain on what, what else we need to accomplish today. Pretty much, because I just threw it up there, and you just, like, wham, bang, boom. Yes, because we are going to construct a tangent to a circle. So it was in 103 that we were going to end up writing a proof or not, because I know you guys don't love proofs and we've said everything that you would need to. I like proving things, I just don't like the structure. Oh yeah, 
The other question I was going to say, and the thing that I think you guys actually did not say, was if these are 90 degrees where the radii meets the tangent line, and we look at this line, like this dotted line, splitting this quadrilateral, what do we really have two of? We have right triangles. They're not necessarily isosceles if I'm using this line to split it. If we have A being 90 degrees, then they would be, well, they would be isosceles, so it's not going to work. But like if the satellite was all the way out here. So these are right triangles and they're similar. Hey guys, hey guys, we need to focus. If you want to play Jenga after we're done with what we need to do, that's fine. But like completely disengaging what we're doing is not cool. All right, so if, 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 right? And then that would be 90, 90, 90, 90. We'd at least have a rectangle. Would it be a square? It would be a square. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what are we? Wait, because it's a tight, right? If these are all 90, and I think you guys determined it's a kite, but if a kite has all 90 degree angles, is it a square or is it a yes, rectangle? Yes, it's a square. Yeah, because like, a rectangle is not a kite. Because yeah, these two square. distances have to be the same? It's a non square these two have to Oh, because the radii have to be equal. And the tangent lines have to be equal. And if the adjacent edges are equal to each other and it's all 90 degrees, there has to be a square because a rectangle is when the opposite yeah, is not square. Square. That's how you. A non square rectangle can't be a kite. Yeah. Cool. So if I ask you to draw a tangent line, we already talked about all this. So if I give you a circle and I say, make a perfect tangent line, we can't just like, okay, give me a ruler and I'm going to eyeball a 90 degrees, which is what we did yesterday. But so grab, <coughs> grab a piece of paper, grab a circle. So either you can draw a new circle, hey Jake, either you can draw a new circle or you can use uh, the equator type circle on your paper, but I don't think that's going to be this the easiest the, option. Could I use this pencil? Yeah, you probably got to sharpen it. Yeah. So you could use your shapes template if you want to grab a shapes template to do a circle or you can make composite circles. So I'm curious, because you guys just ran through that first problem like super fast. Wait, I figured out how to do it, Mr. Hudson. Use graph paper. Uh -huh. So if we are asked to construct a tangent. We have to find the bisect, we have to find the diagonal. Well, we can use the I'm just going to be quiet over here. And if you guys need me, let me know. But yes. I think you can probably do this without me. Yeah. Really, I think you guys can do everything without me. But Jake, as long as you are a correct individual. <laughs> so you said well, we, we need start to. With knowing the right? Right, so you can do more like compass on the point that you want. Right? So, for us to all agree, let's go ahead and call this first circle that we draw circle E. This might be easier if you're just on printer paper. Um, Absolutely. I'm just going to do what you guys say you're doing and try to keep up with you because honestly, y'all are smarter than me. So you just drew a chord, like random chord. How are you going to find the bisector? Ah, so we said like without graph paper, or sorry, without tracing paper, 
we can use our compass and the more than halfway trick. Yeah, but we can't. We don't have any protractors. There are none. They all disappear. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, how does this find me the diameter? I mean, I can just draw any diameter. That, that line that you make between the two uh, pins has to be the diameter. That's what it's assuming. Yeah, that's what it's assuming. Oh, so not only is it the diameter, but it's bisecting this core. Because I can draw any diameter. What's special about this diameter is it's a chord bisector. Well, but not to any chord. Would we have to be like kind of particular? Because if I draw a different diameter, it would bisect a different chord, right? Okay. But then what do I do from here? Try it. Like and measuring? And measuring. I mean, go ahead, like say what you think. Okay, I want to take a radius and then expand it out by the same amount outside the measure. You wouldn't have to use a ruler to do that. You could compass. Because this is our radius. So if I flip it around, like oh, this nice. is the distance of the radius. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and then if you do the more than halfway trick between those two points, that is the diameter. So wait, you were imagining there's a line here. That and do this and do that. Is that did you do what Connor said, or did you do a different? Yeah, and actually, we're going to draw another one, so you can clean that up or do whatever you want. Okay, so I like your technique, and this is why often I try not to give you ideas, because you guys often have better ideas than me. Well, here's the problem. Satellite A is not perfectly that distance away from our circle. Right, satellite A is just at some location, but what we did here was we forced <clears throat> this to be equal to the radius. Well, for the satellite A, you're going to do that thing. Satellite A would be the point where I'm going to do the radius. So what if I give you a circle and then a point? So if I fix, the, so we draw a circle on our paper, and then, and then a point outside the circle just at like a random location. From that point, yeah. So if I give you circle and I don't know, point A. Just making sure that's not a radius away to change things up on you. Okay, I got the point 
of this new situation or of how Connor, how Connor is <clears throat> How? So we know there will be a tangent coming this way and a tangent coming this way. If we want to do diameter, I'm probably going to point it at A. You're going to point the diameter at A? Well, I mean, if if I'm just drawing a diameter, because I can draw it anywhere. What, wait, what can you call this circle? Uh, still E, probably, since we're just kind of doing the same thing we just did, but changing it up a bit. If I do this... I mean, I could go ahead and extend it all the way across the circle. I want to make the tangent line out here that is going to perfectly make a right. So this I need to force into being a right angle. Do you think you did it? We talked about things that we know are for sure right angles yesterday. I have mine and I'm across the hall from him. There's an exit right that I messed up, I guess. That Tony was, they were not looking for Mr. Cabello. They were looking for Tony, the guest uh, uh, custodian. Because Mr. Sheik has help today or had to leave, or I don't know. There you go. See, you guys are always smarter than me. You guys do almost always know more than me. I just sit over here and do no, this. Well, that's what, like, you guys know what's going on around the school. Like, I'm. I was about to say, well, I mean, it's not about looks. I mean, it, it, it should look like a 90 degree angle, but it's not just about looks. It's about us being able to prove that this ha like this has to be a perfect right angle. What sort of things that we talked about, like, let us know that something is a perfect right angle? I mean, even paper is man made, so you don't know that's perfect. Okay, we don't have a protractor. Did you know the Mormon house was? I used the Mormon house recently. We've been talking about like chords and arcs, right? Uh, and then tangents. You know Wait. about if you bisect a chord, that makes it a 90 degree angle. Okay, that doesn't really help me with making it happen right here, right? Because I couldn't put a chord. What, so we, we wrote a lot of things down with our like drawing circles, but we did, we did some stuff over here, right, from that other lesson.
May maybe. So wait, so this image, I'm kind of stuck on this image that we had. Because we then said that we knew with certainty that this was a right angle and this was... So if we have a diameter of a circle, the cords that connect to it, even if they're not equal to each other, right here they just happen to be equal to each other. But I could make a different, like these, from here to here, that would still make a right angle, right? How could we apply that with the situation we're looking at to make a right angle up here? I th think we would need another circle. If I can visualize, I'm going to sketch this because it's going to not be perfect right yet. If I want this right angle, then I want EA. We want EA to be a diameter on a circle. So hold up, Connor Akshay, are you guys hearing and like agreeing if so wait why more than why the more than halfway trick ah if we find the midpoint of ea we can find the center of a new circle I'm going to hope that this is more than halfway and it definitely looks like it is ah stay where you're supposed to Compasses. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm silly. I already had this open to the radius of. So this, that's funny. Since my compass was still locked. So this is the midpoint of EA. So then I can draw a new circle. Guys, I remember when EA Sports was releasing like whatever 2K2, like 2002, and now, now that was 20 years ago. Okay, so now I've got circle whatever, M, I guess we could call it since this was a midpoint, M seems like a decent name. So we said, as long as I connect my cords to the edges of the diameter, it makes a 90 degree angle. So we, we talked step by step, had point A out here. Because it's a satellite that is somewhere in the air, not in a particular location, but we just had it, right? It was, you can put it anywhere. Then we connected E to A just to make a straight line. <clears throat> but then we decided to find the midpoint of EA because that would allow us to draw a circle going through E and A, allowing EA to be our new diameter. And as long as these cords connect out to the endpoints of the diameter, then these cords have to open at 90 degrees because this angle will be half of the intercepted arc. So since we made our arc 180 degrees, the cords connecting to that will be 90. And therefore, A, whatever we didn't name this point, P, I don't know, point P, AP has to be a tangent line. Like, scientifically, mathematically, whatever you want to say, 
it just has to be. As opposed to, eh, it looks like a right angle. That is how we can construct a tangent. Create a new circle with a new diameter, cords that connect to that diameter, and that is your tangent. Any questions? Yes. Yes? Why? There's a third way? A different point, and now I'm confused again. So I can come look. I'm doing this just for the moment. But I, I, I'm very confused about where I'm supposed to be going with where I'm coming from. So I got these two circles. Where do I put the point? Is it where the circles intersect? Over here? So then, so this, is that the diameter of the new circle? No, it is. This is the diameter. So you should have. I don't know if it'll help if you look up here. I, I'm getting kind of confused by looking at yours. And that's probably me. But from A, from our satellite point, to where that meets the other circle. Okay, so it is where the two circles are. That's good. Yeah, because it's on the edge of circle M and on the edge of circle E. Okay. Can I do something on this page? Sure, I have to do that so everyone can see it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so uh, this distance, I, I was trying to figure out like how much the satellite can see of the Earth. So I like took my compass like this. Yeah. And I went to see where it lined up on the circle. Well, remember, your point A might be in a different spot than my point yeah, A. Yeah, never mind. So relatively speaking, what our results that we'll get here are different. Mine was like a little more than three times and I got really excited because I thought it was high. It might be just because it's like by accident. You might have like accidentally set up that relationship is high. We are out of time for today and that's really all what? I cared to do. 108 to 115, which I think does skip a couple. Like at the very end, maybe. But they're all important problems. Like, I looked through them. One twelve is a checkpoint on quadratic, so there are a couple kind of tricky. Like B and C are a little tricky there. I'm not sure entirely where we needed our sun books in that lesson. Uh, well, if 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 you wanted to pull up the satellite activity, but you guys were at the board and you were just already figuring everything out without having to pull it up on your own, so. You can recycle it. Tomorrow is a work day. Okay, so whether you need to work on tonight's homework tomorrow or closure tomorrow or whatever, and then next week we'll talk about when to put the test. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Nice. Only two or three days more. That's not bad. Yeah.